Hi, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how it's important to get price out of the way early. Okay, so I've done a lot of videos over the past couple of years. I think I've done nearly 200 and the one that's had the most thumbs down, like the, the one that's been I think the most despised, has been one called um, Never Tell Anyone Your Budget. And basically in this video I talked about how you know, if you're going to hire a software developer or a software development company and they ask you what your budget is, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to tell them, right? They should be able to quote you on the project and what your budget is, is your business, right? This is one of my pet peeves. Like, I hate when I talk to a, a, a software development company and they say the first question out of their mouth is, you know, so what's your budget? And it's like, you know, my budget is my business, right? It's, it's, it's just one of those things that bothers me. And I think the reason it got so many thumbs down is because I get a lot of software to companies, companies do ask that, right? And it's something that I, that I don't ask, right? And even when I work with, um, you know, outsourced companies, like if we're working with a client and I have like an outsourced company involved in it, they'll be like, ask him what his budget is, ask him what his budget is. I said, no, I'm not. I'm going to find out what his requirements are because I'm more concerned about the requirements than I am about the budget from those requirements we can come up with a ballpark figure and then we can tell them whether or not they can afford to have this application or whether or not we need to de-scope it or you know, bring down the scope or whether or not they're better off just going you know elsewhere right, and this is one of the things that i want to talk a little bit about today because it's really hard when you're working with clients to uh you know to be able to to give a ballpark and put a price out there right and pricing is probably one of the most difficult things about being a, a, a software developer who works for clients because you get the pricing wrong and you are just oh it's just so awful if you undercharge for something and you're you're just you know working away at it and then by the time you get paid it's just it's not even rewarding when you get paid you're like oh god i'm so glad that's over right so pricing is 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 really is, i mean it's so fun it's so fundamentally important and one of the things that we do uh I told you a few weeks ago that about including a money shot in the quotes and I said when we do a quote we do like a detailed document of you know this based on our conversations this is our understanding of the project you know a few wireframes uh, you know an architecture diagram and then we you know give it to our designer and she'll do like a like called the money shot so an artist mock-up of of what the app could look like and sort of put them in the in the thinking of you know this is what the the final you know flash forward a year from now this is what the final product could look like and then we'll have the price right and but at this point the price is not like a sticker shock price it's not like oh my god right you know because we're not going to do all that work until we have like a general ballpark out there so every time we do a quote we do we do basically two quotes we do a general like a ballpark estimate and then we do the the quote so the, the actual price we're going to charge if we're doing a, a fixed price piece of work right and a lot of times what happens is we'll get a call, right? And if I'm not, if I'm not, if I can't take the call at the time, we'll schedule it, you know, for a chat later, and we'll have a conversation about the the needs of the client. So they'll say, you know, I need an app that does this, you know, I, you know, I have a team of of salespeople, and they need something that does such and such, such. Right? And then we'll we'll talk about it, and you know, I talked about this before, walking them through the process towards the end. You think, okay, so if I understand this correctly as a user, I would log in, I would, you know, tap, you know, this. You know, I would see these buttons, I would click on this, whatever, and just get a general feel for it. And then, but you know, if you, if you really know your stuff, then you'll be able to say, okay, this will probably need, it'll need push notifications, it will need a, an admin site, uh, we'll need, you know, we can set it up on, on these frameworks here, uh, you know, it could be native or we could use hybrid and all this kind of stuff. And you can just sort of sketch out roughly how long you think it would take. Uh, and then you can say, you know, early on in the conversation, ideally in the first conversation, you know, Okay, this is not an, an exact uh, estimate, but based on what you've told me, I imagine something like this would cost between you know six and eight thousand pounds, or between you know, two and three thousand pounds, or between ten and twelve thousand pounds, right? And you put that out there early enough so you know they have an idea of how much it's going to cost, right? It's not their you know when they're call, calling you up, they're not you know everybody seems to be apologetic about the fact they don't have a budget. I mean, I hear this all the time, and I, I you know it's almost like you. Know, you you know, your budget is your business. I'm going to tell you how much I think something like this would cost. If it's if I what I tell you is too expensive, we could talk about bringing the scope down a little bit. Or you know, I could recommend other developers to you, right? It's just 
it's just the way it works. There's no, there's no shame in the fact that it's too expensive or not, you know, or, or anything like that. It's, you know, we all buy things that, you know, we all, we've all had that experience. We walked into a shop and we look at the price tag on something and go, ooh, no, you know, or, you know, that kind of stuff. So there's no, there's no shame in it. And when your clients call you up, it's best to get that out of the way early on. Right, so if you tell, you know, if they call you up and they're thinking, you know, I want to spend 200 pounds, and you're thinking, or so I say, 200 dollars to make it, you know, international. So they call you up and say they're going to spend 200 dollars. They want to spend 200 dollars, or in their mind they want to spend 200 dollars, and you're thinking it's going to cost 2,000, 2,000 dollars. Then at, you know, there's going to be a conflict at some point, and it's better to to get that out of the way early on. I found this really difficult working with software development, even software developers and even software developer companies where they don't want to commit to that ballpark estimate at all. They want to spend a lot of time doing research where, you know, and it, just the other day I had a conversation with a developer uh, about doing freelance work for me. And he, he's worked for me before. He's really good. I'm completely sold on him, right? But uh, because he doesn't have a lot of time, I said, well, why don't we do this as a fixed price, bit of, a fixed price project? <clears throat> And then that way you can work on it, you know, whenever you have time. And then I'll just pay for the, the finished product and we'll just do that. And he said, yeah, that sounds good and everything like that. So I thought, you know, and then I said, so how much do you think this would cost? And he didn't want to tell me. It was like he didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to put the number out there because it might be too high, I think. So, so he was asking me to give him my, you know, to tell him how much I thought it should cost. And it was, it was really awkward. It was like playing Battleship. I'm like saying, you know, A5 miss you know it's like too low you know uh 200 too low right so it was really awkward but it wasn't the first time i've had this kind of situation right so i think getting price out of the way as early on in the conversation is is vital when you're working with clients right you don't want to drag somebody on for weeks and find out that you know it, you, it's not fair to you it's not fair to them right where you go away do all this work investigating their requirements and then you know they, they don't even have a clue you know what what the what the range is and the thing about ballpark quotes is you don't want to come in too low, right? If I, if you call me up and I say, uh, okay, as a ballpark, it's probably cost about $200, $200, right? And then, you know, when I give you the final quote, it's $2,000, then you're going to be like, wait, you said 200, right? So it'd be better if I came in at 2000 and then I came in at 200, right? My problem with giving a budget, when somebody asking your budget, is I think that it's lazy on the part of the developer. I think it shows that they don't know what they're talking about. I think it's, you know, managing my budget is my problem. Either my budget is too low, which is something I need to work on. So, oh, I had no idea it would cost this much. I need to look at my budget considerations, all this kind of stuff. But until I know how much something costs or general, you know, idea of how much something costs, you know, then I, then I don't know. Uh, and it's also not, it's not fair. It's not fair on me. It's not fair on the developers too, because you know, they're just, you know, continuing to work away. And then I feel bad that they've done so much work because, you know, I, I never had that kind of budget to begin with. Anyway, anyway that's it for today. I just want to talk, the, the art of doing a ballpark estimate is something that I think everyone should work on. I think it's something you need to get off, get out of the way early in the conversation. You don't want to go and do a bunch of research, put together a lot of documentation, work really hard to sell them when you don't, you know, when ultimately they, they can't afford to do it. Uh, they can't afford to do that project. But if you do say it will cost, you know, this is the ballpark and they don't have that budget, then they could go away and work on getting it or they could go to another developer who could, you know, who they can afford. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.